What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Tori Hart, and I am on JR and the crew right now. Like, right now. So sit your ass down and watch. Now. That was the first time ever that the producer said what's up to you. Oh. And he's like, hey. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're on, man. We're on, man. That's our key right there. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Jared and the Crew, man. We are here in another episode, man. We got everybody in the studio. Again. I mean, yeah, again and stuff. Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, last episode, you did run out real quick. You, you had a, a, an emergency, yeah. but it was okay. Because yeah, I, I know, because okay. everybody, you know, was wondering why, but it's all right. Where did Momo go? Yeah, yeah. where did Momo go? Oh, she was just gone. Even shit. our guest, <laughs> Big Runs, they were wondering what they happened were, to you. They were waiting to see you. They were mad. <laughs> they were mad. They didn't want to do the rest of the show with us. They were like, dude, she left? I was breaking out in a sweat. And I was like, fuck, oh. I got to leave. I got to go. <laughs> I was like, peace, I'm out. Uh, she has some, bro- she yeah. has some, some, some stuff. But we got Momo. We got Slick Vic right. in the building, of course. Oh. We got them in the, the building. And then, of course, now, Jimmy's back. Jimmy's oh, back. So we got yeah. Renee and Jimmy producing they're the show. They're over there fighting over the they're, fucking y- controls. They're fighting. I'm <laughs> Make it up. Make I'm it laugh. It. Make it yeah. laugh. Yeah, I'm switching make the camera. Make it clap. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like, I can make it clap, all right. <laughs> Jimmy got some cheeks, bro. <laughs> Jimmy has some cheeks, and he wears those short shorts, so stacks. damn. Don't be called stacks. They call them Jimmy's stacks. ready to go. Jimmy but got stacks. daddy shorts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> But we got a special guest with us, man. Yes. We have a very special guest. We were working on get, getting her in here and stuff. Mm-hmm. But we have Tori Hart in our studio, hey. man. We have Tori Hart in our studio. Yes, I'm finally like, <laughs> like uh, your boots. well, we're not outnumbered, Thank but. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, the good. boots are amazing. I love the boots. The I love her fit. Like the whole fit. Fit. I love her yeah. hair. It's called yeah. fit, right? I'm sorry. It's the, the whole fit. Thing. I learned that this a few episodes back. Is it? I wear hats, bad hair day, uh-huh. just make it stylish. I am. You have a gorgeous smile, by the way. I've been. Oh God! Here Can we you go. Stop picking up oh, on our guests. Jeez, this the ain't her DMs. Like she's here live in person, so stop being a fucking <laughs> creep. DMs, stop yeah. being a creep. <laughs> he, he does it all the time. Is that a belly button? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! We're, I'm gonna have to apologize before yeah. because we're gonna I have a good time. Him. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see your posts and stuff. I mean, you look like you can handle it. So, you know. Yeah. So yeah. we're here to talk to you about, you know, uh, the way we do. I mean, a lot of people are afraid to come on our show and stuff. I mean, well, because, you know, we like to talk. Well, I'm not into? afraid. Maybe I'm I have, a, re- I have a record. She's, she worked at a prison. <laughs> yeah, I got a record. <laughs> Ex-con. Oh, oh, oh look. She's Ex- interesting. <laughs> you have a record? What's your smile again? Look. Damn. They always say the good girls like the bad guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> oh my god! But no, I, I, we want. I, I'm glad you're here, man. Mm-hmm. We met. We met at uh, the Brian J. Pomona virus release mm-hmm. yes. album party. Yeah, we met there and stuff. And then when we were talking, we clicked, and, and right. you said you wanted to, you know, uh, basically just tap into more of the Chicano. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and and we are. Uh, not a Chicano show, right. but we are starting to be more diverse too. We want to tap into other, you know, diversities in, in, in the black community and, mm-hmm. of course, the whites and Asians and everybody. Right. Because right. you know, um, with us, you know, we could e- we could easily stay in a, in a box, like you said yeah. earlier. Like we could easily stay in a box. Right. We get labeled, and and like we don't want to be labeled anymore. Like we right. want to be who we are, but also like we want to make people feel comfortable. Right. You know, right. and so that's what we've gotten a lot from different guests is that like, oh, you guys make it like so easy like the time just flies it's just mm-hmm. the alcohol we have on set <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the, little, the little pills that no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I don't know she's I don't waste, looking at I don't waste my drugs what the hell <laughs> so we hear you have a thing for short men <laughs> five, oh, five, told five, y'all five, that. five seven where are y'all, five, seven where and a half. y'all getting this from five seven oh and a half I'm just saying I, I do on not a good day. I do not have a thing for short men I'm sorry no. that was one time in my wah, life wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Before him, my guy was 6'3". Oh, damn. Yeah, it just so happened he was funny, and I'm funny. We clicked. I was class clown in high school, so we were met in theater arts, and then, boom, it happened. Wait, wait, who are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not. (laughs) My ex-husband, because that's the only thing I could assume you guys. (laughs) Why you think I like short? No. That is is She's like, like, don't put me in the box. <laughs> short any- oh what? Short anything? She said. I don't like so, short um, anything. Yeah, no, she just gave it a real shit. I'm loving it, man. Who's six three? Is. Who's six three? Oh, you don't know. Dang. Oh, damn. Are you gonna fall asleep right now? You're 
I'm not going to answer that question. I'm not answering that question. Thank you, Bella. Now you have everybody doing this. <laughs> no, but no, let's, I want to get to more of your story because, I mean, uh, meeting you and then seeing you perform at Pomona Virus, mm-hmm. I mean, you did a great job. Thank yeah, you. I mean, you worked the crowd. Thank your your you. girls were right behind you as well. <laughs> I mean, everybody, you did great. You did and your really outfit was dope that night, yes. too. I was just like, oh, who is that? Because I, I didn't know who you were first. Stage. You yeah. said that what? You're very seductive. <laughs> I am. Well, yes. you're you're a performer. You're not yeah. you're not just I, spitting lyrics and rapping like yeah. you work the crowd. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. Like I'm saying that because like, see, I didn't know because that was my first time performing my music. It. Oh wow! You so so I, you know, I was nervous as hell. No, nah, you own that shit. Because I, ju- I remember okay. you on the side of the stage because we were backstage, and I remember right. like you're like mm-hmm. you know just making sure you got everything ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But like you were calm, so like you yeah, did not. That good. did not come across that it was your first time performing. Oh no, it did. Well, I mean, I come from stand up, so you know. Well, but yeah. there's no music there mm-hmm. you know it's, it's completely different but uh-huh. you know so I, I know how to get on stage but per- performing music and to people who've never heard my music yeah. I was nervous as hell oh yeah. I bet but you didn't stand up then wow Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, let's bring oh, it back shit. then. Let's, let's bring it, bring it back. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it back. So how did you? How did Tori get to this whole entertainment industry then? Is it because well, of the school you went to? Well, I mean, I was always in the arts, um, and honestly, you know, of course, my ex-husband's Kevin Hart, and so wait, a lot of wait, people... Wait, Kevin Hart? Yeah, he's my ex. Oh, let's not talk about him. So, talk yeah, about him. yeah, but you know, it, and a lot of people know me from being married to him, but they uh-huh. didn't know my side because mm-hmm. he blew up, you know, when we were married, and then he took off even more. Mm-hmm. So they just assumed I was a wife, but it's like, no, I've always been in the arts. It just so happens that mm. he, you know, I was supporting yeah. him. Right. Then I had kids. So, you know, my mom first. And You were you holding know, it down. Like, yeah, you I were taking down. care of the household yeah. and it wasn't right. really focusing on your so career. you're that exactly. great woman before, that, that's behind that, that yes. man. Yes. Oh, yeah, everything. for sure. Yeah. I, I held it down, for sure, from day one. I mean, when I met him, he was selling sneakers. He, he wasn't even oh, in wow. entertainment, oh, so we God. didn't know where this was going. <laughs> right. But, I mean, no, you you know, so um, well, where did you grow up at? Philadelphia and Jersey. Oh, so wow. I was born in Philadelphia. Uh-huh. I moved to Jersey when I was nine, okay. and then I moved back to Philly, and then I went to the army, and then oh, I wow. ended up, yeah. you were just full of I'm a I know, damn, girl. You never told we me that. I mean, like, we, got shoot me. we got a veteran in the house. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we never talked about this right here. Wow. This. Tori, I know, on? see, but I thought you knew everything about oh. me. Yeah. Oh, I'm from the street. I'm mean, from the street. I contact you said a lot, but apparently you were nice and stuff. Let's talk about this. Bu- 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 <laughs> it up, girl. Bu- it up. It happens. I'm sorry. It's the eyes. It's the eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's no eye contact. You're a veteran, too? We, yeah. Renee's a veteran, too. Oh, vet- Army? Navy? Army? Okay, 76J. Oh. <laughs> so, how... Huh? Oh, you was a hoe. Oh, why are men always like, I'm a ranger, uh, infantry? Like, they're always <laughs> a ranger, <laughs> or infantry. Well, you know why? Because their test scores were a little low. Oh! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just putting out the obvious. <laughs> Where's the signing bonus? Because I know I pick my job based on the signing bonus. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. He did it for the money. <laughs> he did it for the money. So, he did it for the money. Tori, how long did you do? I did six years. I got an honorable oh, discharge, wow. so nice. that's good, yeah. And, I mean, I still do things, you know, for vets because there's a lot of homeless vets, right. yeah. which sucks. I don't feel like if you serve this country, there's no reason why you should exactly. be homeless at all. Correct. Right. I agree with that. So, you know, I'm still participating. I go to D.C. Uh, mm-hmm. once a year, and I do this empowerment thing for vets. Oh, and, you awesome. know, it's it's just mm. it's me feeling like I'm still giving back. That's um, right. It comes no, to that's that. awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. So, so from there, I mean, the, the, the Army... So, but the comedy was before the kids. But th- that's amazing that you you literally put your life on hold so that you could t- be a, a great mom. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I still was training. Like, I still took classes. I still was studying with you know some some of the top um, you know acting coaches in Hollywood, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. still tapping in with different producers. That's how I know so many people because I still would stay tapped in. But like really taking it serious, serious, it was probably about ten years ago. Oh, okay. So what brought yeah. you to Hollywood? Like, what was that? What did that initial move look like? Like what? It, it looked it? like, you know, he was doing comedy at the time and he wanted to move to New York. And I was like, no, stars move to L.A., you know. I love New York, but I don't think that's the place. So okay. we ended up in Hollywood and that was the reason that came here. And I mean, I always had dreams of Hollywood, too. So mm-hmm. to me, it was like, you know. 
God put us together, you know, for mm -hmm. that for that reason. And unfortunately, romantically, it didn't work out. But we mm -hmm. still have a great friendship. That's good. Yeah. Parent well, and life goes on. No, you, it, yeah. your, your your kids are beautiful. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank they, you. They look like you. <laughs> How old are your children? Uh, my daughter's 17 and my son is 14. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so, so and they're at an age now where I can just like, okay. I was okay. just say, yeah. Independent. Independent. Yeah. Independent. Your thing Independent. Right. Here I come. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. dope. Oh, wow. No, but I like that because somebody told me, I literally talked about this the other day. Somebody mm -hmm. said to me, um, man, JR, you know so many people. You've been in the industry and you know a lot of people, but why are you not? far ahead more and right, I said right. because I actually focused on my daughter mm -hmm. you know when she was in high school she was a varsity okay. uh, track varsity volleyball right and right. both your daughters no, no just my, my oldest oh. my, my youngest she's into nails she just wants some nails she does nails no she wants nails all the oh. time she want to break her nails <laughs> she's the bougie <laughs> one <laughs> she doesn't want to do anything she, she's like okay. oh my I'm tired I need my nails no, no. Right. but she, you know um, but my daughter the greatest thing that I, I heard her say which made a, meant a lot to me was when I when she graduated from high school and when she was giving her speech, she said, I love the fact that I was able to look and see my dad standing right, or sitting right. at, in the stands yeah. watching me. That meant a lot. So I put a lot right. of stuff on hold for her to be there right. for her, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, so I, I kind of understand. That's amazing because most men don't put nothing on hold. So nah, man, those are my I girls. I commend you for those that. Those are my girls. I, yeah. Because, I, you know, in the industry, it's 15, 16 hour days, you know, even it's, maybe sometimes longer. Right. So I wouldn't be able to be there. Right. You know, so I, I literally had to back off. I backed off to mm -hmm. and took pay cuts to just be, be, for, be here forever. Yeah. And now she's strong. Now she tells her boyfriend right. what to do and <laughs> stuff. And I love it. Right. I love right. it. Right. A good job. She's a true woman. Yeah. <laughs> And she's going to be a teacher now, so it's, it's right. amazing. Okay, but that's cool, man. But I, I love the fact that you, you know, you're you're, you're doing your thing now. You know, because yeah. I mean? we brought yeah. you on to talk about you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we know. Okay, cool. Yeah. You, know, you did your thing with him and stuff. You know, and I believe I'm gonna say I don't give a damn, but I believe because of Martin Lawrence leaving, it opened a door for him. You know what I mean? Because Martin Lawrence was Martin Lawrence. He's still Martin Lawrence. I've actually yeah. opened up for Martin Lawrence no at way. the Royal Farms Arena. Yeah. yeah no, but and I, I, I. I he's agree my, with you, Junior. He's my I favorite agree. comedian mm -hmm. back then. But now I feel like he's kind of, uh, he's like now, before it came like natural. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like, I don't know why, when I see it. Well, I mean, he's older. Yeah, he's, you know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, and. Can't talk about the same thing no more. It's it it really, relevant. it's sometimes, and he's old and he's rich, you know, yeah. so sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't got to work trouble. as hard anymore. It's like, what's going to be funny? Uh, yeah, no, but I have Def Jam. My night <laughs> chef didn't show up. <laughs> So my day chef, you know, you're, oh, um, I mean, who's relating to that? So yeah. sometimes I feel like when you reach a certain level with comedy, it gets harder. Yeah. It's, it's harder uh -huh. to okay. relate. You right. know, because right. his it's life is just we can not relate at the same level. Right. Like, oh shit, I do the same thing. You, oh fuck. You right, know? and, and you know, like, just not as I'm silly. I'm a nice chef. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the night chef. He's trying to put in his application, Tori. <laughs> Look, first of all, I, I feel the same because my kids, when they come stay with me, it's completely different lifestyle. But when they're with their dad, you know, the other day, my daughter, you know, when she was just like, well, our weekend chef. And I was like, weekend <laughs> chef? <laughs> See, that's funny right I now. I was like, we don't even have <laughs> a <weekend> chef, <laughs> okay? It's like, and you got a oh, weekend chef? <laughs> they got the weekend chef, you know, so it's, you know, they, uh, they get the, you know, they stay humble at my house, uh -huh. you know. But when they go to dad's, and, and I love it for them because they're getting to experience two different worlds. Right. But that's mm -hmm. why it definitely is sometimes harder, you know, once you reach a certain level to mm -hmm. relate. Yeah. Well, you so. bring it to reality and say, boom, this is what it is, you know, and this right. is where we're at right. and stuff. But you, so you are doing stand up now, though. Um, I am. So I just hit the stage for the first time in two years, uh, Saturday, because oh, after shoot. the pandemic. Because, uh -huh. you know, it's so weird. I try to run from it. But it, it's it's not going anywhere. You know, it yeah, really yeah. isn't. Um, and it's like people keep wanting to book me. I didn't turn down a lot of shows because I was touring, sold out and everything. And they're like, no, we don't want to see you leave stand up. And I'm like, but I'm doing music. I'm doing my movies. <laughs> and it's like, well, you want you. And so I'm like, all right. You know, you. it's like, okay, I can't get away from it. Yeah. So I just did it. Yeah. Right, I you love have that. that personality that like, when you talk, like you, other people will listen. You're captivating. Yeah, like, you're yeah. Like, hey, she's For sure. the big words. No, right? it, honestly, like, well, when I first met you, when we all first met you, right. like, you're 
like just your vibe, your presence, like what you give off is like genuine. Like you're you're right, not like right. some stuck up like oh you Ew. know Ew. you know what I, you know what I'm talking about right? I hate like those kind of people. Right, me too. Woman or man, like I, I can't, right. If you, if you can't have a conversation oh, and you're you way above, <laughs> right? You know, or you think you're way above everybody else, like I'm not trying to fuck with you. Yeah, you know, you but like you can see that your in you. your personality is dope. 100%. And I don't understand that anyway because it's like without the people who support you, Thank who you. are you? So Ooh, why are you we talking true. about that a lot? Around yeah, like that. Like, much. I mean, it's just like when I, I see certain people treat like the makeup artist bad or the hairstylist mm-hmm. bad or the, mm-hmm. the nail tech or, you know, like the people that are helping you. Like yeah. without them, who are you? Why are you acting like you're above anything? Right. Right. And I understand, you know, the industry, you know, you do have to carry yourself a certain way. Right. But you also pay homage to the people who are doing the thing in their field, too, and right, respect right, right. what they do because they're getting up every day doing their craft. Exactly. So why would I treat you any less than me? I love it. I love it. So we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. It, you probably don't know, but we do, fe- we do segments, so. Okay. <laughs> but we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to get into a little bit more with Tori Hart. We got okay. her in the studio. We're excited. I mean, yeah. sometimes I, I don't even know what to say and ask, you know. I just, <laughs> just, I don't know. Whatever. He's just like acting like he's watching the show. I am. I'm like, <laughs> talk to us. Talk to us. No. But we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Yeah, dude, like I almost didn't make it last week because, you know, that Conscious For You thing we had going on. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't want to roll up in the camera. You always say that. You always say, oh, I need a ride. I need. That's just your excuse for not coming. Like, that that gets old after a while. What's going on, man? If you guys need a ride... You know I have J and M car service, right? Oh, I that's mean, right. I, I have my own car service, Luxury right? Car. I totally forgot. J and M car service dot net. So if you need a ride, hit me up. We will get you there. We have Suburbans, Escalades, whatever you need. That's right. We'll Dude, get you guys I there. Totally forgot. Sorry, Our bro. Bad. We forgot about you, Doc. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I can't be pointing up with the Camry, bro. It's just yeah. not professional. Yeah, that's, right. that's crap in the stuff. I got right you there. though. I got you. Appreciate it. I got you too. <laughs> Oh, All right, guys, we are back, man. We are back, and we got Tori Hart once again. We got Tori Hart in the studio, and once again, thank you, thank you so much for coming. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's kind of amazing, you know. He's so st- he's so like starstruck right now. Yeah, he's just you like know? she's coming. She's gonna be here. Guys, she's almost here, guys. She's on her way. She's on her way. She said she's, right now. she's right here. She's coming right now, guys. Five minutes. No, you know she's funny? here. So, so the first time meeting her, real seductive, real captivating, real like, ooh, shit, who's that? But now you're funny too, so you just like put that cherry on top. Of it. <laughs> hey, it's like that TikTok video when they said the the funny guys they make you laugh, mm. make you laugh, make you laugh, and boom, you're naked. Hey, <laughs> I'm getting there, girl. I'm getting yeah. there. She's like, no, no, that's kind of that's she how I got married. Bed, right? I got married. <laughs> So guys and girls think like so that. That's how it happened. <laughs> he made you laugh, laugh, Low laugh. Key, like, I, I, I told do, you, I, do. I like it's usually six feet or above, but you yeah. know that got me. That was so the personality, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was it the was exception. like humor. Yeah. So you tried the comedy and stuff, but you, you know, you, you said you're going to do a little bit of comedy, but now. well, no, I still do it. I uh, apparently, like, I just I can't. You can't get it. away. I from can't. It. No matter. It's you know, natural for you. Though. I could tell. Like you talk about some stuff that's just relevant. It, it really is. Yeah. Saturday, like I said, I did a show and I, I made a decision to not tap into none of my material. I just wanted to just freestyle the whole set. And oh shoot, serious? Yeah. So I did that, and the reception from that was just like, Tori, we gotta we gotta work with you. We gotta do this. We gotta work on this. So I was just like, all right, I guess I'm back in comedy. <laughs> okay, fine. But you know, it's kind of hard when your ex is like the biggest guy in it. Mm. So it, it's the comparisons. And and then, oh, you I know, bet. so that's why I just was like, all right, well, I do other things, too. So I was like, let me tap into my other gifts and, you know, see what happens with those things. I'm finally brave enough to do it. Right, right. But in, the, in the early years, were you guys, like, going back and forth, like, see what's funnier? or? Well, yeah. I mean, we, we wouldn't be, like, <laughs> battling, but, I mean, we would be out. And I was always joking and cracking jokes. And then, you know, he was doing it. So it was just that was... I think we were just too much for each other because yeah. we both were super funny. So yeah, the same kind of personality. Would yeah. you say? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So what's your material like? What do you what do you just do your comedy? I know you said you, um, you kind of. Well, well, 
Saturday I talked about dating a, a younger guy who's 16 years younger and mm. with, you know wow girl I know cool yeah cougars. woo you so, know what my so rule of thumb is hold on time out so my rule saying. of thumb is if you ever went to school with my son <laughs> right it ain't gonna happen you, like, and my because my son's 25 oh. and like and my son tells mm. me 25 25 good, girl you ain't got no 25 year old <laughs> I do I got a I got a grandkid another one on the way what <laughs> so yeah so my I tell my she son my I tell my son I, you know I I won't date anybody young and then he would tell me, Mom, if they're 30 or younger, no. You can't, okay. you can't date him. Hands off, right? Right. And so during pandemic, he's a, he's a personal trainer. And so he would have people come to the house. Right. And he'd be like, Mom, stay in the house. <laughs> I'm going to lock the door. Don't fucking come out. I'm like, I'm your mother. Don't talk to me that way. He's like, right. no, Mom. Right. This dude is cut. He's a good. He looks good. Because I'm, I'm just saying, he looks good. Right. And uh, he's single. So stay the fuck so in the house. Like, really? <laughs> and right. I'm like, I'm I got to do laundry. I need any water. I got to do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> and he legit, like, um... Unplug the 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 garage door uh -huh. so I couldn't open it Are and you go inside. Oh, he's a hater. Yeah. She would do laundry in her <laughs> bikini. Made it, made it because he was like thirty one, and he's like, no, mom, sorry, no. No, thirty one <laughs> is not thirty. He said thirty. Okay, right. That's so. that was that was my rebuttal. Like, wait a minute, you said. 30 and under, right. I can't touch. But he's 31. Right. Yeah. So. so you went after this young guy though. So yeah. Six year old. So how was that? Well, he went right? after me. Oh, oh okay. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it didn't last, of course. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he was a six three. I call it he GFN. Was six two. Okay, good so that's good why. Good for I, now. Yeah. I call it GFN. Good for now. Yeah, okay. good for now. Um, so yeah, so I talked about that. I, I you know, I talked. I was a couple in the front who was all in love and shit, and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! This new love, like get yeah. away, I get away. <laughs> I can't take it. Like you know, I'm not bitter or nothing, but damn, y'all want to be kissing during my show? Like, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, you know. Oh so my God! Just that talk about you know my kids. It's a lot that goes on with my kids, and they go to mm. private school and just the stuff that I have to deal with with them. So basically, you know, I'm going to be talking about. Cougar. But I, I've decided I'm not dating anybody that young again. I'm right. <laughs> what I'm is your cutoff? Like, how many years different? Uh, not even that. The age difference. The but age, I would have to say probably like seven seven years, I think, is good. I, and I think, too, it depends on how old you are. And I'm not asking your age right, by all right. means. But, but it's that seven generation. Years, so what's that, 40, like, for me, like, 35? dating a millennial, <laughs> like, if, if I say, you know, like, Buster Rhymes, and they're like, who's that? Who's or, that? like, Mellow Man... No dig at you, but like metal mayonnaise, and they're like, "Who's that?" I mean, if if you can't be on my level, and I, if right. I'm talking about yeah. shit and it's funny and you're not laughing, like, sorry, I can't be with you. Because <laughs> you were in our era. The well, era he knew he was an old soul, but uh -huh. it was just like you know, he just couldn't keep up. That's the thing. Uh -huh. Ooh, he so, was ghouly yeah. as you talking he, about. He him. couldn't keep up where? <laughs> in bed? Yeah, where could he keep up? <laughs> was he at least ripped? <laughs> he wasn't ripped, but he was. He had a good body. But dad he body, yeah, good ripped. dad body. Oh, got you. You know, it was, uh -huh. no, he, no, he just wasn't no like kid. a he, bodybuilder. But I don't like. I don't care about being ripped. Yeah, like, I don't. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't even. Vic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So you're saying so there's, there's a chance. chance. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Look, it's like eye contact. I'm like Prince, girl. I'm like Prince. Yeah. You don't have to be beautiful. Uh, oh, Jesus. I don't Let know. Let me start singing, girl. It's over. It's over, man. We're well, going to cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> this is just energy drink. I'm She's not even all, he ain't funny enough. <laughs> We're going to cut this guy off, man. No, but I love I, mean, I, I love your personality. I can tell that we, that's why people are attracted to you in the in the sense of your comedy and, mm -hmm. and who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's what we connected with you yeah. at the Pomona Virus event because you just have a great personality with you. And, and but you were there for your music, right? So that right. is like your top priority right now is yes. is, is your music. Mm -hmm. What's and the name of the song? The one that I perform, yeah. Treasure. Yeah, I think like, I, I perform lit too. You were talking about that area, right? Yeah. See that yeah, part so, of oh. yeah. I, just, I just remember you going down yeah, and like popping it, and yeah, I was like, "Oh was like, fuck, my knees hurt just looking at her." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Get it, girl!" Like, damn, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was definitely envious. I used oh, to have a no. good back and good knees. Like that. <laughs> Treasure, yes, I remember. Yeah. That. Oh, so, so what's that? What's the Let's motivation for that song? Talk, Let's talk about Treasure. What yeah, you, the motivation for that song. You. Well, honestly, I'll be honest. So I perform, and, and DJ Charisma is so funny. DJ Charisma mm. is the first person who ever made me, like, grab the mic with my music. 
she some one of my friends slid her the song we were at this party in Encino and they slid her the song she heard she put it in her uh, earphones and she's just like oh no I'm gonna play this because she really liked it and so then she I said well, well charisma I'm not I'm not grabbing the mic I'm not doing it I'm sorry and whatever and she's just like no this is good I'm playing it so then she played it and I was like oh shit okay so I do have to grab the mic and say something <laughs> yeah. you know so I did start you know rapping with it and then it just so happened uh, this rapper named Child's Play Kid from the Bay Area he was there and he was just like your music's good you know like that's good I like what mm -hmm. you're saying he was just like can we do a song together and you know I was like okay why not you know so we sat and talked and we came up with the concept and treasure ended up being the concept of the song and he you know was like just basic basically just seeing me and watching me that's what it can't where it came from so I was like all right let me roll with it and that's how it came about mm. so so what are the lyrics <laughs> I, 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 I remember some of them, but I, I don't want to fuck it up. But I just know she was talking about that down there. Like, oh oh <laughs> yeah, well I mean I could give you like the, you can talk, you don't have to rap it, you can just talk yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah, so I mean it's basically letting him know that that he know I'm a diamond, all pressure, you know, yeah. and also talk about how guys, you know, when they used to look at me a certain way, and now they all want to fuck and yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and. It's true. That's what it is, yeah. and just you're about your pussy being a treasure. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Did I say pussy? Okay, yeah, I say you did. Yeah, yeah, you it's all good. Yeah. Okay. You said yeah. it now. And that is so true. A lot of women give it away like yeah. it's, it's uh, like, like, like they're McDonald's. A, <laughs> like they're a nonprofit. Strike through. <laughs> a nonprofit. <laughs> no, a nonprofit. <laughs> Not a nonprofit, yo. That's hilarious. I'm just saying, like, oh, she's gonna use that shit. She's gonna, she's gonna, hold on, give me your partner. Oh, that's funny, right? <laughs> be right, yeah, be right that pussy. Them whole timidies. <laughs> <laughs> them whole timidies that be going oh, down. Right, now she's trying right. try like ludicrous stuff. stuff, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. I mean, I, I, that's one thing. I, you have daughter, right? I do. As my daughter was younger, I would always tell her, I would, both of my kids, like, don't right. let anybody touch you. Your personal, you know, your privates are your privates, nobody right, else. Right. And, you know, I was a single mom. And so even mm -hmm. going to your dad's house at a certain age, like, your dad doesn't touch you. Right. You know, it's so, like, that you part. have to put your kids on yeah. point, right? Right, right. And then as my daughter got older, I would say, okay, I know as you get older, you're going to want to experiment. I says, but don't be stupid and don't be sending these nudes. Don't be showing off your body because you're better than that. And right. don't be giving shit away. Right. I'm not telling you to sell it. I'm just saying don't give it away yeah, because, treasure that shit. because like your body, right. it's real. It's right. Your body is your temple, right? Definitely. And so I, I feel like a lot of parents don't do a good job at teaching kids their body. And how important it is and, and how you shouldn't just be giving it away. Yeah. You can't. I'm such a. So my daughter is 17 and, you know, I don't want to. I, I can't tell her business or whatever. But I I just raised her so well to mm -hmm. where it's like she don't play. Like yeah. I, my daughter too. I don't play with that. Good. She don't play. My son is such a gentleman. Like, you know, and, and mm. I just watch okay. how I watch how he interacts with women. Right. And I watch how he interacts with girls. It just pure. Like, I know he is a great man right you know but, but there's that open communication right you oh my, me and my yeah, kids sure. talk about See, that's very important yeah. i'm not that in our parent. culture yeah like, they're, they're very hush hush about it I really yeah no i had to break that with my kids now yeah. like, okay hey, he has two daughters like, oh do this, yeah you don't do that no to talk this. to them like mm -hmm. don't keep any because my parents growing up my dad was you know he was more quiet my mom did all the talking but mm. i wish my dad would have been more vocal yeah you know i wish they make fun of my pickup lines back at junior high like Dad, that really worked. I said, yeah. And like, so my daughter's like, I don't picture. How's the girl going to fall for you? Say, hey, what's up, girl? That was your pickup line? <laughs> yeah. like, Come on, man. But like, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like yeah. the moves. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I'm okay. going to sleep. Oh, no. I was so good. Oh, that's so disgusting. Okay. No, There's a whole body with it. <laughs> 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 hey, Tori, it's the shit that makes you want to throw up in your mouth. I, I like you it. I've come along with it. I've come along with it. What's up, girl? No, they fell for what's up, girl? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. And then he like the licks cheeks, the lips the and like all that creepy ass shit. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was cool. <laughs> you know what? He was one of my inspirations. Like, you know. uh, and like you got something in your hand that you're going to reveal. And oh, my somewhere. God. You know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> right, right. So I was like, don't be falling for hey, that shit. It don't work. They got you, man. <laughs> they got you, dude. Yeah. You can't, this is, it's not going to work right here, bro. You, you got to come up with hey, new my material. Bro, she likes Latinos. Oh, she likes Latinos. Yeah, yeah, she likes right. She likes well, Latinos. I mean, I've dated, <laughs> I, I've dated a Puerto Rican, um, you know, so I, I am, I'm just not. 
opposed to it at yeah. all. Mm-hmm. So what's not, the problem? We don't open. we don't come up to you too much, or what's, what's the yeah, problem? Yeah, remember I was telling you. Yeah, like, they just I don't you know. They feel guys, what the hell, dude? Well, come yeah, on, motherfuckers like throwing shit at you. You ain't even fucking like. Oh, no, it is. Now I see why. Most most Latinos are not six three. Catch what's up, girl. Most Latinos are not six. What is that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, hey, fool, you're not 6'3", though. That's the problem. Oh, most, I know. I t- listen. Most Latinos are not 6'3". That's the problem. If I sit down, I'm 6'3". <laughs> oh, you don't even look Latino, like, you know, bro. You look black like her, darling. <laughs> <laughs> same color and shit. You look Latino. <laughs> 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 you look Latino. Oh, no, but yeah. I, I, I'm loving the fact that so you so now you're pursuing your music career and that's that's mm-hmm. that's amazing and that's cool that we got to see you your first time at the Pomona yeah. virus. Yeah. That's a cool thing now right? we got to see her and you dropped it and it's good and I have a song with Sugar Free so and he was oh, there dope. you know performing yeah I have a I song saw you with went Sugar. out with them right yeah so Sugar Free actually um, you know he's the one who's you know I it was such a blessing for me to be able to even get a set you know several sessions with him and really I learned a lot from him in a small amount of time. Mm-hmm. Um, even the uh, rock star, I don't know if you guys are familiar with rock star. He's a big producer. He's produced for J-Lo, Chris Brown, Fergie, Post Malone, mm-hmm. um, Platinum Plax. I mean, that's who got me going and, you know, my first song. So I'm blessed to have these type of people in my life that's, you right. know, encouraging me and they're all for it. So. Can, but can I ask you a serious question? I, I want to mm-hmm. know, like, do you, is it harder or is it easier because of your last name? Harder. Because you, they want you to prove yourself, right? It's, it's a lot. Well, for one, you know, some people feel like they got to choose a side, number oh. one. And it's like, why? We don't, we're, we're not beefing. Right, There's no right. beef. Yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? So, you know, but people all automatically assume divorce with, like, war. Negativity, yeah. Yeah, yeah and exactly. It's, and it's just like, no, but that's not who we are. We just, we met when we were 19 and 20. It just. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys were kids. Yeah, we were kids. I'm, I thank God we lasted as long as we did because we were mm-hmm. kids, you know. How and long then, did you guys last? We last for 13 years. Oh, wow, we were yeah. together, um, just together for eight and a half, married for eight and a half years together, 13 in total. Oh, that's a long time, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we did great considering yeah. the circumstances. You know, the circumstances, yeah, the yeah, industry you're in and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to take another quick break. When we okay. come back, we're going to talk a little bit more. So we'll be right back, guys, uh, with Tori Hart. Ooh, it's hot <laughs> here. It's getting hot here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I believe that one love, man, change is possible one day at a time. Woo. That's right. Woo. Right. His motto. Man, just keep it up, man. You know, those morning inspiration uh, stories, you don't know how many, how, how far it reaches. Like, I, it, it inspires me. I know it does a lot for other people. Oh, yeah. Keep it up, bro. And Fuck just, yeah, bro. And you rap as well. We didn't touch what that. What the hell? Yeah, he, I know. There's, like, so many more things. But before we go. We're going to leave that for part two. Before we go. Oh, shoot. Uh, please stand up. Face that camera and uh, show off your abs. Oh, face <laughs> that camera. You guys face that camera right there. Okay, well. We're going to end on whatever this. Whatever camera because, oh, uh, well, um, the I'm right part there. of the camera, the camera too, you know. <laughs> Where can you Where see? Where are we at? Which, which camera? Okay, there we go. Step in front a little bit more. Oh, shoot. Come right here. Yeah. They oh, they're real. real. Shoot. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Day. Day. <laughs> Who All right. ate you up? <laughs> hey, are you part of Latin's finest or what? Latin's finest. Hey, you're, you're welcome, ladies. You're welcome. All right, we are back, guys. We are back, man. And we got Tori Hart. We got Tori Hart in the building and in the studio. And before we went to break, man, we were talking because you did say, yeah, it is difficult because they separate you two and, and they try to mm-hmm. make it like a thing where, where you know, That's picking pick sides, sides. Picking yeah. sides and stuff. Yeah. And, and that does suck. It does. Because you do have a great personality, mm-hmm. man. You have a great Thanks. personality. I can tell that people really like, we like, we love you. I'm gravitating, we, I'm gravitating <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> You can talk to our HR department, but they're closed <laughs> during the week. Indefinite. See, that's the difference between back then and now. Like this would be called fl- like fl- um, flirting and like trying to court you, and now it's like, oh, go, go talk to HR. Right. Uh, that's true. Everybody's all sensitive sweet. now. Yeah, I just look at it like whatever. <laughs> I like. Oh, that's that's what I'm you call me an it, and you said whatever. No, I'm saying I'm looking at what you're doing. Like, oh, he's just he's whatever. Crazy. He's just crazy. another taco. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a torta. I'm a torta, man. All right, I'm gonna step my leg. Yeah, I'm a torta. A torta oh, with man, extra chile. <laughs> Dang, I don't look at you're not a taco. Huh? You're not a taco. Yeah, I, no. Oh, if he was, God. if he was a food, what would he be? Yeah, what would I All right, what would he be if he, if was, he was a food? 
he would be <laughs> <laughs> a jackfruit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! What, what kind of question is that? No, answer it. Yeah. If he was a fool, uh, answer it. I'm not gonna get hurt. Um, just like based it. off of his personality. Meatloaf. Okay. What? Meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Sing her the song. Sing her the song. He said meatloaf. Do it. Like really good. A meatloaf <laughs> with, with gravy. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that sounds good right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meatloaf with gravy. Damn. Shoot. <laughs> some gravy and some toppings on that stuff. Yeah, shoot. I can do that. Man. Oh, man. But go, but, but okay, back to Tori. Back sorry. to Tori. Sorry, sorry. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's, it's I'm, hungry. I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. So now I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> me too. And we still got to get through two yeah. more segments. Yeah. a picture of me on, the, on her shirt when I used to ride. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I am in the, um, I'm looking to get a bike. Are you really? Not, not, oh. a, not a two-wheeler, but um, the three? three. Yeah. Oh, oh no. okay. I used to want a two-wheeler before, but then my kids are like, no, mom, you know, come on, think about the bigger picture. So now yeah. it has to be three wheels. No, right. I think it'll be tight to see her on a two-wheeler. Yeah. Well, of course you do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the old stuff and shit. I really want to see. No, Why'd just... you stop writing? Huh? Why'd you stop writing? Because he couldn't fit. Because he doesn't ride. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> I was like, jump, bro, don't go. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, my oh God. My okay, God. can we get back to her career? Yeah, we got to talk about her career. Stop. We're out of time, man. Career. We have another guest. We got to go to the... Man, God, dude, know. everything's going crazy right now. Oh, well, she's, she's that good that we can't... No, this is, right. but this is good, man. I mean, so, once again, so, when you go into a room and mm -hmm. people know <clears throat> your last name, I mean... So it is kind of difficult then. I mean, what, right. give me some scenarios or, or, or places where maybe you've gone to a place and then they're like, no, because of your last name. Well, I've never been denied entrance into a place, but I, I have realized. But like, not, not place, but roles and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, some, like some, somebody before has said to me, like, um, you know, how are you and Kevin? You know, because oh. we just want to make sure before we give you an opportunity. And I'm like, well, we're good, but I'll be honest with you, he would never work with you anyway. So Ooh. you probably Ooh. just need to go ahead and understand right now. Like, there's, I don't know what they'd be thinking in their heads. Like, we can, we can work with him. I'm like, no, he is way up here. Yeah, yeah. That's, Do they that's ever think that like you're the avenue to get to him? Some people, I can tell, you know, when mm -hmm. they're like, oh, yo, you think Kev would do... No, he won't because I'm not <laughs> asking him. And now I'm not either. And now I'm so not So don't either. ask, I Vic, mean, okay? Don't embarrass <laughs> us right now. But you know, <laughs> I'm going to save my favors for me, number one. Why you think <laughs> that's right. You I'm going to use my favor for have, you. Have you guys right. ever worked on the same project? or like? We have. have. We've yeah? done a, um, we did a pilot together. Uh, we did a TV show together. We did a commercial together. We did um, a show. I've opened up for him a few times. Really? Like, nice. yeah, we've worked oh, nice. together. Mm -hmm. That's good. But see, yeah. if I was in your position and told me, someone told me that, I, I think I wouldn't even take the project because I would be more offended. Like, uh, I didn't. Know. Oh, yeah. Because I, I would yeah, be like, no, oh, yeah. screw you, man. For sure. Yeah. Right. Given her personality, she, yeah. 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 No, I didn't. And, you know, and it's, it's, it's just it's harder for women, period, especially women of color in the business. And mm -hmm. it's like, for whatever reason, people don't see our value as much as they should. And I mean, we are the top earners right now and the top buyers. Mm -hmm. We have the spending power. So I just don't get why they don't get it. No, I, yeah, I understand yeah. that either. I mean, be, believe me, us as, you know, I don't know whatever they want to. In the industry, they call us Latinx. I don't like that. I don't word. like it either. Latinx, really? Yeah. yeah, they try to put everybody the everybody the that's Latino Chicanos, like, yeah. or from South America or they call us Latinx. Yeah, Latinx. Oh, why? Just all in the same box. <laughs> That's what because Hollywood's to them it to makes sense. Like, okay. yeah. but uh, what Instead about us? Checking that box, Hispanic <laughs> yeah. or mm -hmm. something. You just put yeah, no. Latinx. Latinx. Yeah. Is it? I'm not lying. Yeah, no. Now that that's in the boxes, Latinx. Yeah, Latinx. They're creating that. Well, Hollywood is not. Yeah. Hollywood's trying to call us Latinx. Oh, Latinx. They're, they're trying yeah. to label us. And they're yeah, they're trying, trying to, to label us. And some people have adapted to that and taken right. it on instead. And, you know, and then they, you, you see videos or something and you see people like, oh, hey, we're the Latinx community. We're doing, but like people like myself and stuff, I don't say that. I, right. I, I'm me to me. I'm, I'm Chicano, you know, Hispanic, whatever you want to call us. Why right. are you laughing, dude? Because okay. he's trying to put, fucking play with my <laughs> finger over here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but and, and the reason why we want to work with you, we talked about it because, right. you know, we want to be more diverse you know yeah, we want to be more diverse than what sure. we're doing you know and we want people to see that hey we're not just chicanos but we want to be diverse and you said the same thing you want yeah. to get into the chicano community and stuff right, so right. hey that's why we're working together has no no other point intended <laughs> okay i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know 
I don't yeah. know. Yeah, you know that, and that's what it's about. Like you said too. Um, you know, it's already hard for you as a woman, right? And then you're African American woman, and then you're in the industry that normally women are historically they don't succeed, or maybe they're just put they're 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 stereotyped, right? Mm -hmm. You know, right. you you yourself, right. you know, have been put in a box where these are the roles that you do, and that's that's it. Like, right? They don't look at you as something bigger, and that's wrong. And it's, so, like, do you think it's changing a little, like, as times go and? Well, I mean, that's why I got into executive producing, too, because I, I wanted that. to, you know, create my own narrative. And, I mean, I've been producing, you know, it started off with a short film, then it got into sketches, then it got into, um, you know, my movies with my partner and now TV because I feel like, you know, we have stories to tell, too, and we can be more than a baby mama or, Thank you, you know, we can right. inmate. Yes. Or, right. you know, it, it it just, there's so many other roles out there. I mm -hmm. mean, one of my best friends is a doctor, you know? So it's like, I have this side to me, but then I also have this side to me yeah. too. So, you know, like you can, can't just keep putting people in a box. Right. You can't. Right. And mm. so we are telling stories. So. No, I love it. And so the, the, the movie, because we're talking about, about movies when right. we're on a break, but are your movies diverse? You know, I'll be honest, the second one that I did called Sebastian is very diverse. Um, I play the lead. I play Detective Chanel Reed in the film. And, you know, I'm solving a crime from this serial killer who is a white male. He is the killer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Which well, they shit, always I are. I can't tell the whole. Yeah. They, they, they always <laughs> are. Wait, is it out yet? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> This is You're really like, good. That's uh, like right up my alley. Anything that has to do with murder. Oh, uh, no, but it's really, really good. But it yeah. is, it's a twist to it. So uh -huh. um, it's called Locked Sebastian. It. It's coming out in October, oh, actually. Okay. So it is a thriller. And this one is very diverse. Super Turnt, which is out now, it's not as diverse. Um, but, you know, you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then the uh, series we're doing on 10 is diverse. Well, so. if you ever need a chubby Hispanic guy, you know. Okay. <laughs> Look at the DMs. Just look at your DMs. I'll be in them. My little taco. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Emphasis on the little. Okay, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's a, that's a commercial. That's a commercial right no, but but I, I love tacos. <laughs> so you love me. Oh, Jesus. No, but I want to ask you a serious question. I mean, oh, man. uh... Okay, <laughs> I, I look at it like this. You can't be serious. No, no I'm, trying to, I'm trying to word it right because I want to word it right. No, just speak yeah, from the shoot you. from okay, the hip. Shoot. That's what my mom yeah. always used okay, to say. Okay, then why? Because it's the Todd. <laughs> so why is it that it feels as most, uh, uh, that the black community doesn't really support the Latinos, but we are always supporting the black community? Really? See, yes. I don't well, that's your perception. feel that way. Um. You know, I don't, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know who supports me. I, like, I don't know as far as Latino-wise. Like, you're, this is the first time I've done a Latino show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would have to say I don't know about that part of it. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe it's lack of communication. Maybe because there's a lot of uh, people who feel like uh, Latinos and blacks are at war, too. Mm -hmm. like, right, yeah. Especially in L.A. Given and, the history. Right, right. So that could be the thing. But back east, I mean, shit, I supported him. I dated one. I dated him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't. Th I don't think he, like a that. <laughs> he, he was a Puerto Rican, <laughs> but um. Well, no, Roscoe Pollos. That's. I think okay. that's Dominican, right? Yeah. No, I. I, 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 I we had a big pig one time on the table with the mm. apple in the mouth. Oh. So. Uh, uh, yeah, he was Filipino girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Bless you." <laughs> but. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know because I don't feel that way. Like, I'm very mm -hmm. open. I, you know, I'm open to support. And, and, and when you say support, like, what do you mean as far as support? Well, like, what you do know, you need? Uh, not, not that I need, but, okay. you know, sometimes I'm just going based off because we, we do hear it sometimes where, um, but you said something that was key, you know, you know, the, the blacks and Mexicans get it. They have that rivalry a lot right. because of the race. Mm -hmm. But then yet, our oldies are sung by nothing but black guys, you know, from the past. You know, okay. that's our oldies and stuff. And then we support the music and stuff. Right. But I guess, I don't know, it, to me, I guess the support is where it's that I don't see as much personally that hand of saying, hey, let me take you. Maybe it's okay. behind the scenes. Okay. But to really, like, say, hey, you know, let me take this rapper and pull him up. Let me take this. Uh, person and pull up like okay like for example Coolio's DJ right no, but like example King Little G yeah he has a song 
where he he he, he kind of shares about not being pulled up. You know? Keynote G. See, I, see, I'm not even familiar with who he mm-hmm. is, and I think maybe it's because also sometimes we just don't know. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's just okay, yeah. But but I will say, big boy. I mean, I feel like like most of his, he's a big in radio, and mm-hmm. all of his co-hosts are Latino. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, because his wife is Latina. Yeah, Veronica. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our kids are um, like really good friends. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, my, 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 my kids right? are good friends with his kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, but that's what I'm saying. So he's able to like tap in because she's probably helping him tap in. Yeah. Mm. yeah Sometimes yeah, if you don't sense. have somebody, oh. you know, like even like that's why I said with you, I what? was just like, you know, I would love to learn more. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you just don't know oh, how to go about. We're it. gonna bring you. But to that's why yeah. show, I think girl. that's why you yeah. need you need Vic in your life so you can learn. <laughs> more. Uh-huh. He said it. I, mean, I was thinking it. He said it. You need we we it. work no. as a team. Hey, Vig, send me that Zell money. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're definitely. You know what? I, I yeah. think we should really get her into a lot of the shows that we, we well, go her to. Her music writer. would go good. I mean, I, I can see the girls in our, you know, where, where we go. They'll, they'll respond to it. Right, right. And, and vice versa. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just trying to also think. You know, it's just because as far as I know, like, I know my family themselves. Like, my family is very welcoming. We welcome everybody mm. to sometimes to a fault you know what i mean so i don't know i just think it's just lack of communication and right. that's the thing and you know we just have to start speaking to one another and talking more it's just people in general everybody is so standoffish and it's like mm-hmm. we're put on this world to love that's to right. uplift and you know you have a purpose here but a lot of people they just don't talk Mm, That's true. It's it's their it's their their unintentional ignorance. It's like how they grew up, where they grew up, right? Where they don't see another way. That actually, that's how I grew up, right? And so, you know, I I grew up. Okay, you can't talk to this type of person, you know. And and a lot of it was like you said, right? You know, uh, African Americans, blacks, because they weren't around us, like in our neighborhood, Mm -hmm. and they lived on the other side of the street or the other side of the neighborhood, and we didn't go there, and And we we couldn't associate. Yeah, but same thing with Mexicans too. like, yeah. you know, but I don't see it. Well, here and see, here's the thing. One of my closest friends um, son is married to a Mexican woman. And so I've been around her a lot. And so I see different things and mm-hmm. I'm drawn to her. I like her. I like the culture. I, I, I like what I see. Well, come on, let's get this going. Well, Shit, come on. <laughs> we can enjoy this culture together. Let her finish her thought. <laughs> so, you know, so I, you know, and our, her family, you know, that you there we're coming together. Like even I think there's something you guys do with flower. For certain celebrations, or salt, or you throw salt over your shoulder it? and ask for good I luck. I just uh-huh. seen a video flower. where it's flower. Yeah, like uh-huh. cooking flower. Maybe like they didn't have salt. I, I don't know. But uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay. Flowers are for tortillas. We don't waste flour. flour, girl. Yeah. Mexicans don't waste flour. Oh. No, yeah. That's tortillas right there, girl. That's, that's, that's prime yeah. tortillas. We, we, we'll waste, I, we'll I waste rice, but just the flour. traditions. But just the traditions, like yeah, in different cultures. Yeah, and I just think it's about talking. You know, like sometimes, like for instance. All black women are not angry black women. We're just right. not. But I we have that, that we have that stigma on right. us. Uh-huh. Right. And I can't tell you, like, I, I have to feel like sometimes it's like, Dad, why do we get labeled as mm-hmm. angry black women? Like, no, we're not angry. That's like, my wife. She, <laughs> my, no, my wife is 4% black. Okay. Yeah, she got her heritage. <laughs> and so she's not always 4%, angry. We're all 4% black on that. Thing. Oh, well, she's angry, though, all the time. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. My wife's always angry. <laughs> no, no. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. (laughs) You're fired, Jimmy. I'm just kidding. Jeez. Yeah. (laughs) We got to go to a break, though. Yeah. We're going to go to a quick break. That stupid-ass comment. We'll be back. (laughs) Yeah, we'll go to another break. We do get along, guys. If you're 6'3", Latinos, hit her up. We'll be right back. (laughs) You have to be 6'3". All right, everybody, check it out. This is your boy, JR from JR and the crew. And look, I'm doing a quick plug for one of our partners. That's right, Black Widow Investigations. Now, look, listen, you might be in trouble right now. You might need a lawyer. You might need a law firm. You might need somebody who could go up to bat for you, make things happen for you. When other lawyers or law firms say there's no chance, that's when Black Widow steps in because you know what? She plays hardball. And look, criminal law, family law, you get a speeding ticket. Give her a call. I'm going to put all the information down below. She's one of our partners, man. And we are proud to say that we're with Black Widow Investigations. So give her a call. Let them know JR and the crew sent you. But hey, if you don't want to say her name because you just want to be, you know, under the radar, go ahead and just call her anyways. I don't care. Give her a call. If you need a law, a lawyer, give her a call. I'm telling you right now, they have people ready to 
fight for you. Yeah, that was pretty good, yeah. Take it anymore. <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? Right? What's up, girl? No, what's up, girl? No, girl? No, that was not okay. That was not what's better. What's up, girl? That wasn't better. No. I'm gonna have to. I gotta teach you. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm open to learning. Let her school That's you. Good. That's Are good. That's good. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Dang. All right, guys. We are back, man. You, as you guys see, I have to break up this love. Little thing that's happening right now. I just it's a one-sided look. I ain't even. It's one side, yeah, it yeah, ain't yeah, coming yeah. back. It ain't coming back. Showing it, but she, <laughs> <laughs> she keeps hitting it and moving. But no, we, we, we're talking yeah. the break. I mean, you have. I mean, that, that's kind of cool. She, you know, you have. She has her hands in a lot of things. You know, oh, yeah. the comedy, the music. Right now, the movies and stuff. So you even have mo- a movie out right now. Well, yeah, I've been doing that for a minute. I mean, like as far as. But I'm talking about your. This is your own stuff. Oh yeah, me, this is me producing. This is, yeah, this is yeah, you I've doing been, your yeah. thing now. So dope. Yeah. So share a little bit. I, mean, I do. Oh yeah, so uh, Super Turn, which uh, that stars me, Jamal Woolard. If you mm-hmm. guys, he played uh, Notorious B.I.G. in the Biggie movie. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, yeah. So Jamal, um, trying to think who else you guys might know. Che Mack. Uh, I'm a Red. Good job, Darius. She, uh, well, he's in uh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay. Yeah, Darius McCrary. He's in Sebastian. I actually went out. And sought him, you know, for the project. Oh, and, nice. Yeah, to get him. Because he's a great uh, actor. And, you know, of course, Family Matters. He's a yeah. staple. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's out. And Sebastian, me and Darius actually play partners in Sebastian. Oh, So, cool. yeah, we're both detectives. And he's my partner. And uh, Clifton Powell. I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Jamie Bernadette. She's a big actress in the um, horror genre. Mm-hmm. Um, Jermaine Hopkins, uh, if you guys remember the movie, uh, yeah, okay, Juice and mm-hmm. uh, Lean On Dang, Me, like he's a thing. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy's so, do you do the casting Jimmy's for all your movies? Right <laughs> so I help with the casting, okay. but my partner who lives in Atlanta, Man Robinson, he, you know, he does his part, and then like out here, the people that I know out here, I go after the people that I know out here. Nice. So and Atlanta's the new Hollywood out here, right? Huh? Atlanta's like the new Hollywood out there? No. No? <laughs> no. I heard wrong. No. They, they try to do that, but no. Atlanta's uh-huh. Atlanta. <laughs> Hollywood is right, Hollywood. Right, because uh, was it what, Tyler Perry, right? Yeah. Yeah, like studios? he's got his studios there, but uh-huh. it's like, just let it be Atlanta. Like, Hollywood is Hollywood. Just, you know, just say Atlanta is Atlanta. Right, right. That's, That's how I feel. Like, re-brand. there is no Atlanta Woods sign. You know what I mean? Like, Not Atlanta yet. Atlanta is Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, and I love Atlanta for what it is, but I love Hollywood for what Hollywood is, and Mm -hmm. I just can't see Atlanta ever be in Hollywood. Do you ever see yourself moving away from Hollywood or this area? Um, I want to retire to Jamaica. Oh, yeah. So I see myself in Jamaica. Just is this uh, what? Quiet. I just love Jamaica. Every Mm -hmm. time I've went. It's nothing but love, the people, the culture. Um, I heard it's, it's kicked back, like laid back. Yeah, it's just, it's real chill. The food is amazing. So I can see myself retiring, but that's not until I'm like 65, 70. I can tell no, you still got a no long way to go. Yeah, no time soon, but I see yeah. myself there. But I love LA. I love Hollywood. I like, there's nothing that beats mm. palm trees, and you can be in the mountains, you can be at the right. beach. Right, yeah. it's just nothing. It's hot. It. It's cold. I, I mean, palm right. trees and bomb weed and. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't smoke. No, you don't smoke. Stop no, stereotyping I mean, her. Every now and again, I might, but it's like it, it makes me tired. Yeah. And so yeah. I, you know, I'm a drinker. Yeah, I gotta mm-hmm. get to work. I gotta do something. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I drink. But what's your goal? I mean, what's your overall goal? I mean, I mean you're tapping into all these industry mm-hmm. industries, but what's right. your overall goal? Is it the, the money or what? So is it? my overall goal, I do not tell people ever. I just keep nice. that to myself. My team knows what I'm doing because, you know, sometimes I, I, I just feel like for me, that's personal to me. Mm. And I just prefer to keep that personal or, no, right, yeah. you know, people that are closest to me. They, mm-hmm. they understand what I'm doing. No, that's understandable yeah. because like even people ask us, you know, what's our goal for certain right. things. And for me, overall, my goal is just to make an impact. Right. You right. Know, I, I want to leave an impact you know, that when I leave this earth, people remember me. Right. right. That's basically. Mm-hmm. But it, of course, it's real broad. But. You know, like you said, the narrow. That is broad. But, you know, <laughs> Super I want to make an impact. I, I just want to make an impact. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because you're already making an impact. Yeah, we so are. Gotta, yeah. You got to be more Step specific. But one thing with JR, he wants bigger and better, like, 
right now. Overnight. Yes, right. you do. Overnight. Right. I don't have and patience. I'm, and I told I him, like, trust oh. the process. Like, yeah. trust the process. And, like, you know, you got to slow down to speed up, to slow back down again and restructure and evaluate. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm more the critical thinker. We, we, we all, like we all grew up. We all grew up. We all have known each other since we're, like, 13 years old. Yeah, really? Kids. Yeah, me, and Momo, guys, and, me <laughs> Momo and JR. So we all, okay. me and JR, we know each other at 11. She came in And he's 13, always been 14. like that. Always. Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah. He's the go Let's fast go, man, guy. Yeah, I'm just like, slow the fuck down. No, like, what, what is yeah, wrong with you? Yeah, because here's the thing, like, and, and I get where you're coming from because I used to feel like, yeah, it, it's got to happen like this, mm-hmm. but it doesn't. It, it takes, like, even a lot of child actors, you see them, you know, from here, and then you wonder, like, oh, they blew up, but it's like they've been doing this since they were, like, five years old. Right, right. So they didn't really just blow up. It's been an 18 year, 19 year journey. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So right. it's a journey. I just learned to enjoy every part of the journey. That's, That's what good. I do. Well, even for you, how you, you, you let it go while you're, you know, being a mom, mm-hmm. you got back to it. Like, right. What's for you is going to be for you regardless. That's how I feel. Yeah. Right. Right. And I still train. Like I said, I, I trained, I studied, I, I took my classes and okay. I did all yeah. that while, you know, I was still with my right. kids. I, right. I would make sure I did that. So I was doing the work behind the scenes and now I'm just putting myself out there. I think that's important for you to say because yeah. people that want to get in the industry they don't believe in that or they just think it's oh my face is going to get me through. Like, no. I, I thought this beautiful mug <laughs> was going to get me to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. it's not. It, Turns it, out he's got to take some classes and <laughs> he's never yeah, been a good the, student. The, you know in the connections. You know yeah. and it's just doing the work and you got to network too yeah. and some people you know they feel like oh I don't have to talk to this person. I don't have to network. Mm-hmm. I don't right. Like if I didn't tell you what I wanted then I wouldn't be here today. Mm-hmm. Or, or just us even speaking mm-hmm. and being cordial. Some people don't even feel like they should be nice to people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And it's like, what's up with that? Like, do you want to succeed or not? Because people who want to succeed, they're not going to go around, like, mean mugging people and mm-hmm. side-eyeing right, right. people. Like, nobody's going to want to yeah. talk to you. Because the people are coming, that, that are coming up, they always act like that. But the it's ones that, that already made it, yeah. they're kind of like more laid back. Like, what are you Yeah, we've like, come bro? into some people like that. And it's like, come on. You know? Oh, yeah, be though. humble, number it's one. Like for what? Which yeah. we appreciate yeah. you coming to our show. Oh, yeah. 100%. Thank you. 100%. Seriously, thank you. We appreciate that. When when Junior told us you were coming, yeah. I was like, you're lying. Yeah, we all said Don't that. Lie. Shut the I go, hey, Don't guys, lie. Dish Network just talked about her, so <laughs> she's coming on our show. Yeah. Okay? If Dish is talking about her, you know, guys, we got to she's on our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that's my dish. That's my family. I co-hosted a lot for them, and yeah, uh-huh. no, that's so, cool. That's dope. So you mentioned, uh, you know, your kids getting older. Yeah, you know, for a long, long time, you put your career on hiatus because you wanted to focus on raising your kids. Mm-hmm. And so, like now, what does Tori want to do? Your kids are getting older. Like, what, what, what is going to be like in your mind, or do you even have it in your mind? Like, what your main focus is going to be? Because now, oh yeah, your kids aren't so dependent on you. Well, no, my kids are straight. Like, my kids are super dope. Like, even. I mean, I still make all their games. I still make my daughter's soccer games. I make my son's track meets. Um, You know, my daughter, she's amazing. She does TV and film. I still made her film festival and went there. Yeah, like, I I make sure I'm at everything. Right. Um, But more than anything, like I said, with because I've been on tour, too, you know, with comedy. Sold out. You know, Mm. East Coast did comedy tour. Sold out. Did that. Um shoot a lot in Atlanta, go and do that. And when I do that, that's just the time where I'd send them with their father. Got it. So I'm always still working. But um, now with the music, that is my main priority. Mm-hmm. And so making more music, dropping singles, and I see myself on a tour and then hitting big stages like Coachella, that is oh, what's going to happen. Ooh, yeah. It nice. will happen. Yeah, speaking yeah. of well, yeah. Let's start, let's start right. the treasure challenge. <laughs> and we'll just, have, and we'll just you know, hashtag treasure challenge, and we'll have all these girls submit videos. And oh, and no, that's what we're not going to do. Treasure. That, that actually is a good challenge. I know yeah. it's a good yeah. challenge. Yeah. Baby, I'm, talk, I'm, talk, I'm looking at our right. future. Right. Oh, shit. It's about us right now. We got to Oh, my together. God. That is a good challenge. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, where can promote, people see you right that. now? Where can people see you? Because you're going to be at a festival, right? Oh yeah, she's putting so, on her own festival. Right. Oh, that's so me good. and my um, my manager slash business partner. That is actually it's called the Turn My Music Up Festival, and that's August sixth, seventh, and eighth, and that is in Palm Springs, mm. and it will be indoor activities. <laughs> that was, that was my said first August thing. August Palm Valley, like, right? Oh. Right. Well, yeah. Palm, Palm Springs. Springs. Yeah, it's it's going to be a little warm, but we have comedy. We yeah. have um, our Sugar Free is going to be there. Rolls Royce, the Daz Band. Um, mm. Trying to think who else. I don't have the flyer right in front of me. Changing faces. Um, mm. 
few other people. A lot of people's on it. We've got comedy. We have a car show. We've got pool parties. Days. Pool parties. Yes. JR on party. the crew. Like, JR on the like crew is going to be there. Yes, yes, guys. I got to yes. well, go on a diet. Too? It's a 72 hour take a hotel takeover. Oh, wow. It's in Margaritaville. No, it's going to be lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Are you going to be doing comedy too then? That, that weekend? I, I probably will. Joe Tori. Well, Joe Tori is um, hosting the comedy, but I might jump on stage yeah, and do mm-hmm. something. Yeah. I support you. Yeah. Yeah, huh? <laughs> 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 but music for sure. For sure. Music for sure. So, yeah. uh, that's awesome. So, is that the only place right now? Where, where, where can other people, like, locally at least? Oh, I mean, locally? It's not that far drive, but I'm saying locally. Um, do you have anything planned right here that people can no, go check out? No, I don't have out? any shows lined up locally just yet. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, but, but our Latino people gotta hit her up right yes. but i will i will let you know um as far as if something's come like i, I wish this was last week because I, I was performing over the weekend and all week doing stuff but oh, for bet yeah um but no what about different platforms like where can where can they check your, your oh you can check me out so all my movies. platforms are tori hart uh t-o-r-r-e-i-h-a-r-t and then also the movie super turn to be uh, Amazon Prime, uh, Peacock, hmm. and I'm trying to think what else. Apple Movies. So, yeah. Nice. So, that's for Super Turn. I'm definitely going to check it out. Yeah. So, check that out. Um, and just ToriHart.com. I mm-hmm. mean, yeah. Nice. See, she's yeah. everywhere. She's everywhere. And, where you know, just see me. The music, the music treasure is now on iTunes. Lit is on iTunes. World Star, I think we're almost at 2 million views. Oh, oh nice. For the video, yeah. Hey. And I mean, I didn't even realize how many people were paying attention because when I ran into Method Man and Red Man and they're like, you're rapping, Tori, you know, because I know them from before. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you are actually good. So you actually good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a and I was like, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I mean, that was. Um, Do you have an OF fans? Do I have a what? OF. What's that? <laughs> this guy, OnlyFans. Do you have oh, OnlyFans? Only no, ew. that's, Say that's ew. work. Ew. <laughs> I'm just saying, some people come on the show and they have OnlyFans. Oh, uh, no, I don't have one. I mean, I don't... I'm no, because some people want to rap and they want to learn how to rap. OnlyFans is not just... Oh. Just you for bad Showing stuff. the treasure. It's, it's not just for the, the treasure. treasure. <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter, guys. <laughs> no, should I get an OnlyFans? Should yeah. Get it. Yes. Really? They do a comedy on there and then people pay to... Yeah. People pay to see extra, like, Stuff that not, not it's not people okay. think it's sexual, but it's not. Some yeah, that's pay, what that's yeah. What maybe I you have a behind the scenes too. type. It thing. was like, started hey, for see this behind the scenes, pure stuff of this. Boom, right? One of my only fans, you pay for it, and boom, it, it, it was just to pay. show your talents. But girls, and it's like, like a, but it's like exclusivity, <laughs> right? Like it's exclusivity, yeah, like it's, exclusive. it's not something that that's recorded. Them, like, yeah, but yeah. well, there's also patrons. There's mm-hmm. patrons. Like if you have okay. a camera that follows you everywhere, mm-hmm. you could put that OnlyFans and you could get a bunch of fans and you could start making money because they want to follow you. Right. Behind right. the scenes shit. Yeah. Behind the scenes instead of... Just an FYI, it. and I'll, t- I'll, I'll send you an invoice for 5% to let you know. <laughs> 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 and don't forget the treasure challenge. Hashtag treasure challenge. Hashtag send treasure those challenge. videos in. Please send those videos in. Not to Jared and the crew. Uh, I don't want to get Jared and the crew. <laughs> tag tag Tari. <laughs> yeah, yeah Tari. But no, any last know. words, though? Anything you want to say, man? Uh, just thank you guys for having me. Uh, everybody who, you know, if you're pursuing dreams and goals, just go for it. But also do the work. Yes. Yeah. Understand it's a lot of work. And if you're not willing to put in the work, then just know you're not going to succeed. Mm. What about, so, like, yeah. for those women, and especially women of color, mm-hmm. like, what would you say to them? Because they're the ones that struggle the most. As, Tr- as far as? Yeah, like, in the industry. Like, whether it be in the rap industry, in, in, right. in you know, Actress, music industry, music, yeah, acting. All, stuff, what, yeah. all the things that you're connected to. Like, what advice would you give them? Just keep pushing. And, and start creating your own thing. Like, mm. if, if it's, you know, if, if you don't feel like somebody's receiving you. Like, that's what happened with me. I just started creating my own thing. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, you know, I started with YouTube. And I started doing sketches. Mm -hmm. And so when I would go audition, I'm like, okay, I would book jobs here and there. But, you know, I didn't feel like I would look and see certain things Mm -hmm. like, okay, this person's working this or I would see who got the part. And I'm like, 
I didn't get it, but you know, I'm not getting on my knees to do shit either. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it's like if you're not willing to do certain things, it's gonna it will be harder for you. So that's you just right. have Absolutely. to create your own lane. It's true. Mobile. Love that. That's what you, you hear what she said? Yeah. Not getting the knees. Well, I can't. I, I, got, I got bad knees. You know, I got down. I ain't that, getting back that, up. That, that shit was like a fucking rice crispy full snack crackling and pop. It does. <laughs> and then I'm like a fucking beluga whale. I gotta roll. And then eventually get up. <laughs> Oh my God, man! But nope. yeah, just do the work. Love it. Just do the work, mm-hmm. and don't quit. That's I love right. it. I love just it. Don't quit. No, but seriously, yeah. thank you for coming on, man. I mean, because at the end of the day, I mean, <laughs> you're from Dish Network to <laughs> our humble little studio. JR. This network. Dish Network to this network. Dish Network to this network. And you know, and, and honestly, it, it, we thank you for your time. You know, yeah. we thank you for yeah, your for time. Sure. And she's gonna stay for a little bit so we can feed her because she's really hungry, <laughs> and we want to take her out to eat Are too. You so. Hungry? I'm gonna take a quick nap though. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm no problem. Take when I tell you, I have been partying, and oh. I need. Um, Damn. Yeah. Monday. Week, week, week has been like I really thought this was supposed to be tomorrow. I was like, that's why I did it because I was like, wait. Okay, so, so that's why she's late. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. I texted her yesterday. No, but I hit him. Yeah, I hit him. I go, him. hey, was hey like, uh, don't forget, blah, blah, blah. She goes, thank you. You texted me. I, I thought it was Tuesday. I thought it was Tuesday. I really did. Mm. I thought it was yeah. Tuesday. So I was yeah. like, oh, stand. I go, I go, but you're coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, yes. I, I was like, oh, thank God. All right. Yeah. No, but once again, thank you so much, man. Yeah. I mean, you guys have anything to say? No, I mean, just thank you. Thank you. For, I, I love how you're saying, you know, women, for those women, you know, don't don't just conform, like, create your own lane. Right. And, that, right. and that's really what it boils down to. So thank you for your inspiration. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, guys, um, she said <laughs> yes to the date, so we'll be putting it up on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Be what did I say at, yes to? Be on the lookout for the date. I know. I know. I, know. I say yes on to YouTube, no date. It's going to be very magical and romantic. So just be on the lookout for that. Thank, you for, no. Thank you for coming here. You're so he dull. He is delusional. Really dull. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. No. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Until next week, man, we'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching our show tonight. Make sure you catch us every Wednesday, 8 p.m., across social media platforms, on YouTube, Facebook, all that good stuff. You know where to find us. But don't forget to tap in and... Don't just look at her boobs. Like, share, subscribe, right? If you're going to look at them, if you're going to tap in and look at her boobs, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Yes. That's the least you can do. Keep it real. Get alerted every time she's on. Keep it real like what? <laughs> like your boobs. <laughs> <laughs>